Hello, how are you? This is Jelly Bling. Today's project is a second project using Trusty Tools Bundle. So here is a stamp set. Cute. And I already did a project, well, I'll show it to you in just a minute, using this bundle, very different, using the Celebration paper. But this one uses um, copper clay, the images, and coloring them with the blends. And when you look at the stamp set, if you're not a coloring type person, you could stamp this in Memento or any black you have. Put that right over the top and consider it done. So that's a whole different direction to go, which I haven't gone here or I didn't go with the previous project. And there are the dies. The dies, see I haven't even used this one, but see these pieces right here? They could be die cut in any metallic and you won't have to color them. And there's all kinds of pieces. There are, am I missing one? I'm missing one. Look at this. To do the drill, you could have that in metallic or this here for the tape measure, you could have that in Daffodil Delight. I mean, this is just endless. Or you could do this one. This one I think is meant for stamp. See the hollow ones? Those are for stamping it and cutting it out. This one is the paint. And you could put it on top of the paintbrush. So if you did this one in solid colors, and then you could have the brush bristles a different color. I mean, it just goes on and on. You can make... Um, you know, a stamping caddy for boys, a tool chest, the little nuts and bolts. Oh, there's so much to do. Anyhow, we'll be using this bundle, but I have to admit with these, I just hand cut them because I wanted them really close, but you could die cut them. It'd be much easier to die cut them. Okay, so we'll be using that bundle Unbound Love. So this bundle is in the upcoming catalog. And when you look at that, it's like, yeah, that's a lot of words. A lot of great words. Beautiful fonts. And the dies, dies are over the top. The dies, look at all these. It's like, yeah. You could see how this one fits into here. This one, even if you put it on top of this one, or underneath it, so just these little peaks we're picking out. But hold on, there's more. Look at all these. These are more circle types. But see the oval, and then this could fit inside. I know this one fits inside there, but this is called Unbound Love, and it's gonna have my Unbound Love. I love this one. Like even look at the Happy Birthday. I don't think I'm gonna be using that one, but I love it. Inked and Tiled, a stamp set bundle that's going away. Um, the bundle is stamp set plus two punches, but I love the words and the images. Okay, so you saw this one. Cute. Oh, oh. See this right here on Inked and Tiled? I've never known what to use that for. Maybe just a background. But I had it sitting right next to the paintbrush, and it's like, oh, that looks like paint swooshes. And it sure does look how it worked out. Stamp it once, turn it over, stamp it again. Yeah, I want to do that on today's project. Oh, Bo has to go out. Hold on. Okay, come on. So for Easter, it was our job to make um, potatoes and it's like are you going to do scallop potatoes or are you going to do au gratin potatoes and I'm like I don't know what the difference is so I looked it up and we pretty much did like a combination of both of them and they turned out they smelled so good um, but today for dinner Tony and I we finished up that little extra half pan which was not layered enough layers so the cheese in there kind of not burnt, but got brown. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Anyhow, Bo just l licked the bottom of the pan because there's a lot of butter in there too. It was so good. Okay, 
So Emma was here for Easter and that girl, she's doing so good. She's going to school. She's in Portland now, which is two hours her driving, two and a half hours, normal people driving away. And I know she doesn't like pink, but she is just, she's, she's out there getting it. And she had rented a room from a girl and they had similar tastes. They're both vegans. Um, but she said, you know, she's really nice. And we end up talking and talking and I don't get anything done. She goes, I kind of just want my own place. So she's getting an apartment in Portland, closer to school. Anyhow, so when I saw these pencils and I stamped a whole bunch on a piece of paper, just so that I would have a whole bunch ready. And when I saw all of them together and it looked just like that, I thought, that reminds, that makes me think of Emma. And not that she's graduated, she has a long way to go. Um, but just congratulations on being her and you know what, going and getting it. So I took this boy stamp set and I turned it into girly. And these dies are from my favorite one, my Unbound Love one. Isn't that pretty? And also, it has these dies that match this. So I just put a pencil down here. So this one is really indulgent. And you know what? <laughs> she does not like pink just because as a kid, I put her in pink all the time. Well, can you tell I'm feeling it? Can you tell? Um, but just, just proud of her and happy for her. It was a good weekend. Okay, so I wanna do one more, but a little bit more boy-like. Ah, so, there's those. We'll keep those as a sample, kind of close. This one probably has nothing to do with anything. But this could be a good graduation card, or you're getting started on school card, or all kinds of things. So over here, classic matte dots. I want to use those today. Or these are in color dots. And I'm thinking the copper clay, that goes perfectly with this. But I don't know if it's going to be too matchy-matchy. And then also today's um, tools, I want to color them in different blues. And I really like these. These are boho blue, but I don't know how those would work. So one or the other. We'll be putting some gems on. Color wheel. I heavily used the color wheel today. So to come up with colors, I had spruce in there, pretty peacock. I had um, copper clay. And it kept on making me have these. That might be another reason why I picked all these colors. Yeah, it is. Because they're all right in a row. But for this project, which I think is a boy project, it kept having me go to purpley pinks. It's like, nope, that's not going to work. Anyhow, fun thing. And when you get your annual catalog, there will be this color chart. Take away the white part so that you can do the um, all the different combos yourself. It's just nice to see it. Okay, so this project is copied. Well, you could tell that I really changed it up. The one that we're doing today is very similar to all things Stampy. What a cute name. And I will tell, tell you the paper cut sizes. After we get it kind of put together, I'll hold up the card and my little cheat sheet so you can write down the sizes. Okay, so here's the papers. Painted Posies was used in the background here kind of making it girly. And also because there's this greenery and that's retiring. And then there is metal plate. Is that just perfect for this? See right here? Okay, so I wanna use this today. Okay, let's go. Let's get stuff going. And I have a little extra paper. Have you read that? Okay, you don't even have to keep a secret. This was in an Easter egg. I put on an Easter egg hunt for the three kids, Evan, Michaela, and Emma. And then afterwards, Michaela handed Tony and I an egg. Inside the egg, it said this. Huh? Because you know how we all love Bruiser. That's their dog. Okay, now watch this. Do you know what that is? 
do you know how 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 much not work but they've had an uphill climb i'm not going to get all teary i'm just going to leave this here and i'm going to move on to the card oh my gosh there hasn't been a baby in our family in quite a long time So they're 10 and a half weeks and Michaela is sick. I said, that means baby is taking what baby needs. Oh, I should show you this video she sent. I think it's like a 10 second video. Do I dare? I've, I've just been being very indulgent here. Um, from Michaela. She says, this is how I felt a few times while eating. Okay, now watch this. It's gonna take a minute to load. It's not very long. And if I get a whole bunch of thumbs down, I'll, I'll never be indulgent again. Come on, little girl. Well, let's see what it does. I played before. Okay, so this paper is Five and a half by eight and a half. What's going on? Anyhow, the caption says, I'm okay. Four-year-old girl tries extremely hard to enjoy her mom's cooking. And it's not loading. Anyhow, the girl kind of dry heaves. Like, oh. Oh, was that doing something? I'm probably just confusing it. Oh, that might work. It's not loading. Okay, so these little corners are one and a half by one and a half. And that's how you make these. And I have the corners on the outside and the inside. So to do that, we all know how to cut a square. So this part right here, don't let it make you nervous. So I'll show you, start right in the corner. Okay, so now the tip of my snips, I'm gonna have it point right toward that corner. Voila. It's not loading. Anyhow, the girl is, she's just so cute and she's like, um, well, maybe that will work. She's like, yes, it, it, it's good. And then she dry heaves. She's like, oh, I wonder what she was eating. Obviously, it didn't settle well with her. But it's just funny that Michaela, <laughs> she sent that video saying, this is what I've been feeling like. Poor thing. Okay, so these are going to go into here. And when you put them in here, because this is directional, not so much up and down, but if you just plop them in anywhere, it will look okay, but it's better if you kind of line them up. I'm lining them up with the pattern here. So I'll put these in. Okay, I'll put these in straight. Then here's this. Okay, so I want to kind of step it up. I don't know if this is going to work very good. But I'm going to also emboss this one. Look at that. That's baby Nolan. Ten and a half weeks. They hurt the heartbeat. I'm going to be a grandma. But I'm, I'm okay with that. Tony and I, we started late. It's like, no, we have to have a house. No, we have to do this. We're trying to wait for everything to be just right. I remember one day I was going to pick Emma up from um, after hours school from work. And one of the little girls came running over. Hi. And she told me her name. I don't remember her name. She goes, oh, you must be Emma's grandma. And I'm like, no, I'm her mom. We didn't wait that long. I think for her, I was 30. And Evan, I was 32, but <sighs> happy, happy times. That looks good, huh? Okay, so these can go here. Oh, and this is for the words. Oh, I'm not telling you the sizes. 
I'm, I'm being, I'm being indulgent. Okay. So base five and a half by eight and a half. The copper, which is this piece right here, um, one for the inside and one for the outside, and that is three and a half by four and three quarters. The white for right here and here is three and three eighths by four and five eighths. The corners are one and a half by one and a half, and the words for the label is just scrap. Whatever you have around, as long as it fits your die, it's good. Okay, here we go. Back on track. Screenshot, click. Oh, my finger is in the way. Click. Okay, we did it. Yeah, that looks good with the, um, that almost looks like silver-like. Okay, these could go on the inside. This is for words, let's do words. Words are gonna be in blueberry. Oh, and the colors, this is all the colors. Memento, blueberry bushel, petunia, pop, pretty peacock. When you get your ink pad, feel free to say petunia, pop. It's okay. Somebody at um, the event said it like that, and ever since then, it pops in my head. Happy Father's Day in Blueberry Bushel. Blueberry Bushel. Dies. So that could go here. So the images I'm going to do one of each of these. I'm going to stamp it in memento and then color it in with the blends. Doesn't that look good? <clears throat> and don't worry, we have to do stuff on the inside. So we'll be doing some coloring. But let's put this together. Oh, and then what gems? What gems should it be? Should it be copper? See, that's kind of matchy, 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 matchy. How about... That again is matchy, matchy. I'm thinking that the black. Well, let's see first. Classic matte dots. I think that might be good because it kind of picks up the color that's on the um, memento. Okay, so how about three right in the middle? One and two little ones. Oh yeah, that looks good. The gray would look good too. Do I have to put this together? Okay, so how about what should be on? Well, hold on, hold on here. So if that's like that, this, should that be right there in line? Because this one I pulled it off to the edge. These are right, I think this is a little bit tidier because there's the white all around it. Let's try that. But because it's texture on texture, that's going to have to be liquid glue. I get to use my new toy. My new toy is Sweet Petunia glue. And I haven't covered it. It's been, I don't think it's been a week, but I haven't put a lid on it and it just keeps working. I really like that.
Okay, that looks good. It's a whole lot of texture. Okay, and then this could go down just flat because the tools will be dimensional. that on. Host code, if you need anything, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Well, I'm going to use this stuff. Whew, that might be good for the, um, the tools. I'll save it. I'll save some of it. <laughs> Get all stuck. Happy Father's Day. Put it up a little bit higher. Okay, so now the tools. I had a plan. I think this one, because it has the copper in the middle, that one's like the base. Okay, that's good. So let's use some of this stuff. Look at that. That works pretty good. I should do the middle one first. How'd I get ink on me? That's blueberry. We have blueberry everywhere. You know there's some colors like um, Blackberry Bliss. I get Blackberry Bliss. I'll use the paper, but I really don't like to use the ink. I don't mind the marker, the blends, but the ink pad, it's it's just, it's bad. But you know what? The dimensional is there in the way. I'm so proud of those dimensionals working perfect. That could go right in the middle. Just like that. Aren't those colors cool too? That's blueberry and azure. Azure. Okay, this one needs a little glue at the bottom. If I keep them kind of close together, that will make um, there be more of a white border. So it'll kind of calm down all this color excitement. Okay. And this one. Baby. So I guess it's um, regular practice for doctors to do genetic testing. I thought that was only if there was problems. And Michaela says, no, it's just... It's routine. And if there's a problem, she says, they told me don't freak out. <laughs> I'm like, okay. She goes, if there's a problem, then they'll check Evan. And if he has a problem, then they'll start looking into it. But I'm sure that they're, they're both the beautiful people of the world and healthy and good. Okay, so. This is going to go, the plan is here, but for some reason, I just got an idea of, like, what if you're painting downward, like a, a swoosh downward, and then this can be up here. Is that getting, like, a little too crazy? Not across. The other one was like this, but it was going the other direction. Let's try the swoosh. Just swish. Well, I don't want it just straight. Oh, I don't know. I'd say leave it in the comments, but I'm going to come up with something. Okay, it's going to be kind of diagonal across. That's the plan. So start out with 
the paintbrush because I want, um, so this one, only part of the paintbrush is in here and that was on by plan. Do you see the coloring at the bottom? How it has the peacock on it and the lagoon? Um, so I want to do that again where it's only part of the paintbrush. Kind of saying, yep, this is the inside. You don't you don't get the works here. I had to put the words in there too. Happy Father's Day and something awesome. You're the most awesome. Thank you. See, the thank you is good. If you have somebody that just comes over and they do stuff. This would be a good card for them. Okay, see, we're hit. we have more color in now. Okay, and now the swoosh. I think I'm going to do the words in black because the swoosh will be in blue and I think that might be too much blue, blue. Blue, blue. You are most awesome. You're the most awesome. Okay. Now, blueberry bushel. It's dirty. Drives me crazy. Now it's clean. We could carry on. Okay, so when you're stamping or just even working at your desk, do you have to have it all cleaned up before you move on to the next thing? Are you like that? I am. Sometimes it's a problem. Swoosh of color. See, that's kind of artsy. Swoosh, turn it over. Swoosh. Maybe another way. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, so for a little bit of coloring, first, I'm going to stick this down because I stamped on it. I don't want to put adhesive on the wrong, on the pretty side. Oh, we still get to put those on. Okay, so that's good. Those will go after, but for now the coloring. Okay, coloring. These are fun. I like this one. Coloring is gonna be just like this one. So copper clay, and I will do the light in the middle, then the dark, so you know coloring with blends, you probably know I love it. Um, I heard a tip, and I'm thinking it's a good tip. The tip is do one little section at a time because while the copper clay light was um, still had moisture in it, um, if you do the copper clay dark, it's not so hard to blend it because they just kind of meld in with each other. So I'm doing just a little area. And now I'm doing the edges in dark. And see, that is true. I don't have to spend time blending it. It kind of does it for me. I like that tip. Copper clay. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> I had that cold a month ago. <coughs> and I still, only when I talk. So the rest of the day, I'm just fine. And why is this one sticking? Okay. 
copper clay light and copper clay dark on the edges. Okay, and then the middle is smoky slate. <coughs> Sorry about that. And smoky slate dark. Okay, now for the oh, that needs a little bit more blending. So I'm going to use a whole lot of colors. So this one has Chrome Cake Dark, Azure Light, Azure Dark, Blueberry Light, Blueberry Dark. So let's start with Blueberry Dark. So it matches our paint swoosh. I don't know why that thrills me so. And I'll go over this again, probably not right up to the tip of the brush bristles, but near it. And then over here, the little lines, the shadow lines look a little heavier. So I'll just be a little bit heavier over there. Okay, so that was blueberry dark. Now here's blueberry light. And it has its own little zone. Okay, and then Azure. Azure. Kind of looks darker, but I think it dries lighter. It's kind of more of a a yellow blue rather than a purpley blue, red blue. And finally, oh, I didn't leave much room for the crumb cake, the natural bristles. Bristles. This was really dipped deep into the paint. Tony would always get mad at me when I would do that. He's like, you don't have to dip it so far. You can't get it out of the top. I'm like, well, yeah. Um, crumb cake dark. So that, that's all that's left of the clean bristles. I was going to do a crumb cake light, but I think it's too similar to the, um, the slate. Okay, there it is. We're almost done with this. Okay. Look at that swoosh. You have to write around it. Okay, and then these are just gonna go on. You know, on these, I put them on with dimensionals. Dimensionals on the inside of a card is my latest thing. I don't know why, but let's keep with the trend. Let's, let's keep it going. Dimensionals. And then these, these are right on the corner. But I think that would cause a problem. So they could be, how about right there? So that's like standard size when you do a mat. Trusty tools, 
And I think this one is carrying over to the next catalog. So we'll see plenty more samples with this. Next time I'm going to try, not now, next year maybe, um, <clears throat> all the different dyes. Isn't that handsome? Okay, I'm really liking that. There it is. Happy Father's Day. Okay, well, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. And if you can, hit that little notification bell. So whenever um, I come up with something, you'll get notified. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.